All right, so today I'm gonna to be going over the resume that helped me get a data science internship. So I recently accepted an offer for a data science internship position. And today I'm gonna to be going over the resume that helped me get through the application process. Now, currently this is an older resume since I finished with the application process, but there are some things I do wanna point out that maybe I could have changed, but I do also wanna highlight some strengths of the resume that I think helped. So in the first section of the resume is the education. So education covers my educational background and this is the first section because I'm looking for internship positions and I wanna highlight that I am still a student. Now, the first here is where I currently go to school, which is the University of Pennsylvania. And there I list my degree, which is master's in computer science, which is interchangeable with MCAT, which is the full name of the degree. Now, I would probably just list out the full name of the program, Master of Computer and Information Technology, rather than just say computer science with MCIT next to it. And I would do that since it's its own unique program and it also highlights my transition into computer science. So that may help with different conversations during the interview. Now, furthermore, I also list some coursework um, that I've taken in the past, specifically graduate coursework that is relevant to data science positions. However, all these coursework weren't taken at the University of Pennsylvania, my most recent education. Actually, some of these, for example, artificial intelligence for health and medicine and neural networks were actually taken previously when I was an undergrad at the University of Arizona. In the future, I would probably just have a separate section for coursework or maybe another bullet point on its own outside of a specific degree uh, just to disambiguate did I take it from this university or did I take it at somewhere else? And probably one final note with the education section is since I am taking my master's part-time now, it looks like there may have been a one-year gap since master's programs are typically two years in length. So maybe in terms of internships, I might put the range of dates. So the start and end date of my program because that did come a lot during interviews whether or not I took a break or how long have I been in the program. All right, so moving on to the next section, technical skills. So this is where I highlighted the main skills that were relevant to the position. And in terms of data science, I also wanted to highlight not only programming, but potential tools used in data science and languages such as that. So beginning off primarily with coding languages such as Python, R, SQL, and so on. And then here I named it technologies because just another catch-all term for specific packages that are used throughout data science. So pandas, numpy, and so on. But even like typesetting or documenting languages like R Markdown, since communication is very important in data science as well as sending and visualizing your results. So I wanted to include that because I do have previous experience with that. And finally, tools. Tools was just basically general data science platforms that lots of data scientists use, such as Jupyter, PyCharm. That was just to more fill in space, but also there was some matching words within some job descriptions. So I just included I just included it there just for uh, further detail. Now, in the future, I would probably not include um, every single IDE or text editor that I've used or am familiar with. This is, was just to fill more space and more details. And I would probably focus more on skills that are more in demand. Probably write out um, deep learning or machine learning experience that I have, hypothesis testing, A-B testing, and so on. So now onto the bulk of the resume, which is the professional experience section, which is highlighting my main experiences that are relevant for the position. Now, first off is the teaching assistant position at the University of Pennsylvania, where I've been TAing for a while. And 
not many information there, just what class I was TAing for, as well as what I did as a TA. Now, in the future, I would probably put this in its own section or maybe put it at the bottom because it's important to have a priority of what information you want at the top. And I think TAing is not so much what I want to highlight, more of my previous internships or research experience, since I used a lot of data science tools and worked on projects rather than just teaching them in a classroom setting. Now, the next one is the biostatistics research intern entry, where I was at St. Jude. Here, since it was primarily a research oriented um, position, I wanted to highlight a lot of details and accomplishments that are relevant for that position, but in a data science setting, since that is primarily what I did. So starting off with that first bullet point where I talk about wrangling um, pediatric oncology patient health records and visualize, as well as talk about temporal trends, and then it's just further details about the research. But those are key words which I wanted to show that I had data scientific skills that were relevant to this position. And then there's further details about implementing models, specifically in R, as well as further details about the research, just to give more details of what the impact was. So a specific number such as three bacteria species pairs. And then finally, I talk more about hypothesis testing, which is very important, and communication, where I presented results and I actually wrote a manuscript that detailed the methods and discussion. Now, I'll talk more about this, but here I talk about R, R Markdown, but I'd probably not write that in the future since one, even in data science, um, you'll see Python and R a lot. And my personal preference is I'd rather focus more on what I did and what the impact was rather than highlight all these tools and languages that I've used before. Now, finally is the research assistant position where as an undergrad, I was in a medical informatics lab. Here I talked about writing scripts, so coding, extracting data, and then the differences and the volume, so over 10,000 patients, and then some visualization I did with Sankey diagrams, and then some uh, modeling with logistic regression, and then specific results that I was able to highlight from that. Again, with the previous position, I'd probably not talk about the languages so much. I'd probably leave more space and use more words or make it even more concise of what the impact and what were the details of the project rather than show what I want to see or match some keyword, something like that. So next is the project section. Now, this is very important, especially in data science, because you'll be asked about working on a previous project. And here I was able to use a hackathon in my program and talk about a project that I did previously. Now here I list the technologies that we use. And then if you can, you can also click on the bolded word to go to the repository. But here I talked about more a web application is what we did, more software engineering rather than data science. But I did want to highlight that we did use data and we did make some results that you could interact with. And this was actually um, helpful in interviews because again, it is important to communicate your results in data science and actually sometimes developing an application or dashboard, something to interact with uh, can be very useful in terms of developing software for actual practice in data science. Now next is publications. Since I did go over research experiences that I've done in the past, I did want to include achievements, which is how impact is measured, publications specifically within academia, but it is also useful in terms of tangible results that I've had with my previous experiences. So it's just a couple of publications listed below. And this has been helpful for showing impact that I've done in the past. Now, finally, because I didn't have much experience or what else to add um, to my resume, since I am beginning uh, this new career, 
I just included presentations where I presented my past research. In the future, I would probably fill this something else with maybe cert certifications or maybe do another project. But here was just a good filler space. And I recommend it if you're transitioning maybe from research into a more industry field, you can include maybe high impact presentations or just presentations just to fill in a good one page resume. So that was the resume that helped me get my data science internship. Now in the future, again, I'd probably switch some sections or leave them out as well as some details such as all the tools and technologies I use. I'd probably just focus maybe on one or none at all and probably focus more on the results. But anyways, that's all I wanted to share for today. If you like more videos like this, please consider subscribing. And if you want to follow more of my personal life, please check out my Instagram where you can follow more content there. But if you reach the end of this video, thanks for watching.